What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to the brother JB for showing major love to Too Raw for TV, aka Too Raw for Sports, with the seventy-six dollar donation via the Cash App. Leaves a note saying, "Cook these frauds, big bro." Absolutely, I'm gonna continue to keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? I might have to change my delivery a little bit. May have to augment certain words and phrases. But I'm still going to be able to, to get my message across because I'm versatile. But I'm always going to call out the mainstream media for the BS that they try to put out there on a daily basis. So much respect to you for showing love to Too Raw for TV. So shout out to Ticket. He, the first one I saw talk about this. So the New Orleans Pelicans are parting ways with assistant coach Teresa, Teresa Weatherspoon, according to NBA insider Sham Sharania. Since 2020, Weatherspoon has been a, a Pelicans assistant coaching staff member. She initially joined the team in 2019 as a player development coach. All-star forward Zion Williamson formed a strong bond with Teresa Witherspoon who aided him in recovering from a right foot injury sustained during the 2021-22 season. New Orleans beat reporter uh, Nick Underhill reported Williamson met with Pelicans Executive Vice President David Griffin on Thursday afternoon for a standard off-season meeting. Uh, New Orleans had made recent coaching staff changes this off-season by adding former Charlotte head coach uh, James Burrigo as an assistant head coach after Ryan Panona's uh, departure, uh, departure excuse me, to the Alabama Crest Crimson Tide. The Pelicans also made changes to his player and performance staff. Weatherspoon played her collegiate ball at Louisiana Tech, where she led the Lady Bulldogs to the 1988 NCAA Women's National Championship. She joined the WNBA in 1997, becoming a two-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year and a five-time All-Star. Spoon was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 2010 and the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2019. Before Coach Willie Green took over as the head coach, Witherspoon remained part of Alvin Gentry's staff, making her one of the few remaining holdovers. As of now, the team has yet to reveal who will replace Weatherspoon. Now, the big question is, why did they get rid of her? And why did they do it after meeting with Zion? You know, I don't know. Like, initially I was thinking, you know, did Zion throw her under the bus or some shit? You know, like, did they have a meeting with Zion about his recent behavior? And he was like, you know, cause look, I don't, I, look, man, this is just the rumors, you know. Spoon is a great player, great Hall of Fame player. I used to love her watch, watch her play with the uh, New York Liberty. But one of the rumors is that, at least back when she was playing, uh, you know, she, she, she liked women, you know. She, it's pretty much obvious that she loves the coochie. <laughs> And she was a bit of what you would call a, a player when it came to women. So one of the things I was wondering is, I wonder if Zion threw her under the bus or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, um, my thing is, you know, I mean, I know I did wrong. But, you know, you know, Teresa, man, you know, she's been my one of my biggest mentors, man. She was telling me, you know, that's the type of lifestyle that, you know, a young, young person is supposed to. You know, look, man, you young, you got money. Enjoy yourself, you know. She always tell me to enjoy myself, man. And she was telling me about, you know, when she was playing and she used to have, you know, a female in this city and that city, you know. It just influenced me, you know, to do a certain type of way in life and thing. Beady, beady. So I was like, man, I hope that nigga ain't do no bullshit like that. But what I'm starting to wonder now is, is it possible that A... Zion is indicating to them, I was talking to the brother LB about this too, so shout out to the brother LB. Is it possible that he indicated to them that he's leaving? 
but they're not putting it out there yet. So if he's leaving, then essentially she was there because he wanted her there. But if he's leaving, then why is she still there? So that might be one reason why they let her go. Now look, reports can sit up there and say they have no interest in trading Brandon Ingram or Zion Williamson. But look, how many times did we see reports that said the Lakers, they, they just don't find a pathway. They don't have a pathway of trading Russ. And then magically when LeBron broke the record, magically, you know, they, they had an excellent path suddenly to trade Russ. And just like how there was reports that James Harden had no interest in being traded. None. Remember when he was with Brooklyn? Oh, these are false reports. He doesn't want to go to Philly. These are these reports are false. And then two weeks later, what happened? He got traded to fucking Philly. So I, I would take some of these reports with a grain of salt. We already heard the reports that he wants to be in New York. He doesn't want to be there. We already heard those grumblings well before all of this mess. To me, I don't think he really wants to be there. He... Honestly, he's cavorting and doing all this extracurricular stuff he could be playing when he's not really playing. I don't think he wants to play there. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not making excuses for this dude. Because if that's the case, well, I just say be careful what you wish for. Because if you think you're going to go to New York doing all that BS <laughs> in New York, ha! You think Stephen A. Smith and them dudes are harder than you now. Wait until the Big Apple press... Start, start really, really putting your shit out there. And when you start playing in New York, every little goddamn thing you do is going to be blown up a thousandfold. ESPN going to be leading with you. You think they're hard on Kawhi Leonard? You think the are hard on Kawhi Leonard for missing games? Pull that shit with the Knicks. Because as bad as Julius Randle plays during the postseason, as inconsistent as he can be, at least he fucking shows up to work. At least he plays. So anyway, I wish the best for Teresa Weatherspoon. And uh, that's all I got to say in this one, man. Tell me what you guys think.